Greetings, programs, 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 programs. Welcome to Red Pill Sunday School. This is episode one of season two. Welcome to the year 2020. Isn't that bizarre? 2020, the year that will never yield another normal year. <laughs> That's uh, the year that perhaps is the end of the world as we know it. Welcome again to 2020. It's around January 4th, the day I shall be releasing this. I apologize for the delay. I was a little sick, and you'll hear uh, some strange things happening to my voice later on in this uh, presentation. Hope you all had a nice set of holy days, artificial constructs we call holy days, holidays, brought to you by Hollywood and the hypocrites that are the power structure of the Christian church. Now, one thing I do want to mention right off is that, and the hypocrites that are the power structure of the Christian church, and the hypocrites that are the power structure of the Christian church, and the hypocrites that are the power structure of the Christian church, and the hypocrites that are the power structure of the Christian church, and the hypocrites that are the power structure of the Christian church. Nowadays, some Jews have decided to proclaim the name Jehovah. One example is the Karaite name Yah Gordon, who believes that a conspiracy of silence exists regarding the name. Concerning the fate of his people, he even dares to ask the following question in his book. I had a terrifying thought. Was God not answering our prayers because we weren't praying using his name? Jehovah is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be in fear? Jehovah is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be in dread? So, we now have God, we know the name of God, Jehovah, now we know what Jehovah actually means as a term, and that, that was the intention of that word throughout all the, you know, even through the Greek philosophy period, we had the Logos, which meant the word of God or the law of God, all of this is, every religion pretty much has the same notion of this concept of Jehovah, which is again, existence itself, and it's a verb, and that's very, very, very important. Jehovah is the only verb that refers to God. Yes, it is the name of God, but it is written as a verb. In other words, being itself. Now, when I say a being, I don't point to something and say that is... No, no, I'm saying all of being, all of existence itself, self-existence. Right, That which is self-evident, that doesn't need any proof from men to exist, which is all of legal fiction, that's what I'm talking about. It's a verb. And one of the most spiritually uplifting and understanding experiences I ever had in my life was to read, okay, Jehovah, this term, the, the, again, the tetragrammaton, is a verb. This vast appreciation for divine names is displayed in many ancient texts, prayers, and scripts. All Muslim surahs, excluding the second and the ninth, commence with, in the name of God. In Christendom, the Lord's Prayer begins with, hallowed be thy name. The Jews say, Kaddish, thereby sanctifying God's name. Paradoxically, the name isn't even used in these religions. This hasn't always been the case, and many of our forefathers firmly believed in honoring and showing respect for the name of God. And in many countries, a form of pronunciation, which is also contained in many inscriptions and songs, prevailed. Jehovah. Nowadays, however, many Christian preachers and evangelists refuse to accept this form of pronunciation. Transliteration from Yeshua 
Jehovah is not a transliteration. Jehovah was a name that some white Jews came up with to replace the sacred name Yah because they felt like the name was too sacred and too holy. 